Movies might make it seem super easy, but robbing a bank is almost impossible. It should be obvious to most people, but banks are really rich and they use a lot of that money on security. And the bigger the bank, the better the security. Some banks out there are so well protected, it's shocking. Here at The Hub, we have all the coolest information on these secure spots. These are the most heavily guarded banks. We're going to open the vault in just a second, but before we do, make sure you click to subscribe to our videos. If you watch enough, we might give you the keys to the safe. The Dubai Gold Vault In the United Arab Emirates, or UAB, lies one of the most top-heavy wealthy cities in the world. That means there's a lot of cash there that belongs to a select few people. The city is called Dubai, and it's appropriately named the City of Gold. The city has a vault that is unlike anything you've ever seen before. It was finally finished being built in 2009 and has all of the latest security measures available. In fact, a lot of Dubai's gold was formerly stored in another bank from London on this list until the new Dubai Gold Vault was built. The security for the vault is entirely operated by Brinks, which is the security leader of the world. The reasoning behind this isn't just because of the amount of gold being stored there or the price tag either. They take such extreme security measures because the Dubai Gold Vault stores gold for anyone in the world. It's truly an international hub built for only the most extreme protection. Brinks has been around for over 150 years, practicing security and learning every new method that thieves will try. Let us put it this way, Brinks is so trusted that they operate in 116 countries and have over 50,000 employees. That amount of experience is a guarantee that the Dubai Gold Vault is sealed tight. The Federal Reserve Bank of New York in the United States, it seems like everybody is obsessed with money. And specifically in New York City, people want to make sure that their cash is always in the best hands possible. So that's why this next location on our list is so protected. The Federal Reserve Bank of New York. Of all the Federal Reserve Banks in the country, this one is the most active and the largest. You better believe this bank is locked down. And here's another huge reason why. Inside, there's over 6,700 tons of gold bars. That's enough to make Scrooge McDuck faint. If you want to know how to get in, the only entrance into this gold storing vault is a 90 ton, 9 foot tall cylinder made from steel. That sits in front of airtight steel in a concrete frame, and once it gets closed, steel rods lock inside the holes. Next, timers get automatically set that can't be unlocked until the next day. In addition to all that crazy stuff, there's 24-hour surveillance of the area with security cameras and motion sensors. Plus, an armed Federal Reserve police force on duty. And those guys don't play around. If some criminal knucklehead tried breaking in here, they'd immediately be found out. The Antwerp Diamond Center All this talk about gold bars is getting depressing. Let's switch it up a bit and talk about something more exciting. Do diamonds do the trick for you? Because next is the Antwerp Diamond Center, which is said to be the most heavily guarded bank in the world. In fact, this diamond center comes with the specialized diamond squad, which is the only diamond police in the world. Plus, the center has a massive vault door. It's estimated that it would take at least 12 hours of drilling just to make a dent in it. And who has that kind of time? Because it's marketed as the most secure bank in the world, we had to include it. But funny enough, spoiler alert, it's the only bank on this list to have a high profile break in. In 2003, thieves were somehow able to compromise the vault and get away with the contents from over 100 of the 189 safety deposit boxes. Because they got away with it, it's not exactly known how much they stole, and $3 billion worth of gym sales were reported at the Antwerp Diamond Center that year alone. That's not including any hush-hush deals on the side. This shocking crime against a bank with that kind of reputation makes you think that it might have been an inside job. Bank of England Gold Vault If you think that the United States is the only country crazy about money, 
you're definitely mistaken. In the United Kingdom, the Bank of England is one of the biggest banks around. It pretty much does everything from settling interest rates to maintaining confidence in British currency. Boring stuff, we know. So let's get to the good part. This seemingly boring bank in the UK holds one of the biggest amounts of gold in the world. Right under everybody's nose lies a vault underground the facility. Pretty cool, right? The total amount of gold there isn't known for sure, but we do know that it's valued at over 200 billion. Whoa! It's all spread out over two separate floors of the gigantic facility. What makes this particular bank so well protected is the mix of old school security measures and new. You're not going to believe this next part. An old method they use is a series of three foot long keys. Kind of ridiculous, right? But in addition to that, they use an electronic passcode method where visitors must speak a specific password into a microphone to access the vault. There's only a few voice patterns saved in the system, and you can't fool it. And if you think you can do a convincing impression of one of the bank employees, uh, you're wrong. The Federal Reserve Bank Vault of Cleveland Completed in 1923, the next bank has been protecting money for a while. And it's not in a luxurious location or a big city like Los Angeles or New York City. It's in the heart of Cleveland, Ohio. Yep, you heard that right. Cleveland finally has bragging rights outside of LeBron James. The Federal Reserve Bank Vault of Cleveland is one of the four Federal Reserve Banks in the U.S. And it's no mom and pop operation. This facility will make you double take because it stands at 13 stories high and 203 feet tall. Not too shabby for Ohio. It's situated in downtown Cleveland and is adorned with beautiful sculptures at its entrances. It has all the standard security features of a high profile bank of course. Guards, motion sensors, gates. But what makes this Ohio bank stand out is amazing. It has the largest vault door in the world. Yes. Cleveland, Ohio is home of the biggest bank vault door on earth. The hinge on this thing alone is 19 feet tall, and that's the largest hinge ever built. So if you're from Cleveland, now you have a few fun facts to brag about. You're very welcome. The Iranian Gold Reserve now that we've talked about Cleveland, let's go somewhere a bit more exotic, shall we? Next up is a place mainly known for oil and war, but on this list, for a bank. We're talking about Iran and the Iranian Gold Reserve. The Middle East is obviously a hotbed for political activity and sparring. The fact that there's a constant turmoil really explains a lot about the security measures of the National Bank. This heavily guarded bank is able to be protected by multiple methods. What makes the vault holding Iran gold reserve the most impenetrable is that nobody can say for sure where it is. You can't hit a moving target, right? A lot of people assume that it's located in the Imperial Treasury location or the Iran Central Bank, but guessing really gets you nowhere. Whenever the United States was putting pressure on Iran a few years ago, Iran decided to take action. They had much of their gold stored in Europe, where the US has a lot of say. Rather than deal with the government taking their hard-earned gold, Iran secretly flew it back to their countryside. Its location, after that, has been a total mystery. The Teikoku Bank Vaults Don't freak out, but our next selection is a heavily guarded bank from the past. This isn't a boring story that your history teacher told you though. We would be doing a huge disservice if we didn't mention it because it survived the biggest attack on a bank or anywhere of all time. We're referring to an atomic bomb blast. The Teikoku Bank was opened in 1925 under a different name and operated as a normal bank would. There were four vaults in the two-story building and they were all built by an American company called Mosler. Fast forward to 1945 at the tail end of World War II. The United the United States was attempting to end the war by dropping nuclear bombs on two Japanese cities, Nagasaki and Hiroshima. When they dropped the bomb on Hiroshima, there was massive destruction. When a US Army lieutenant was on the ground afterwards, he observed the American-made vault still standing relatively unharmed. Now that is bank security. The officer even went so far as to write a letter to the Mosler company letting them know about the incredible ability to guard money this bank vault had. We are positive they didn't build their vaults with an atom bomb in mind, but they certainly made them strong enough to survive one. Republican Bank of Uruguay 
With almost every bank on this list, it would be a miracle to get even close enough to the vault door to attempt to rob it, but the next bank on our list wasn't as lucky. Hilariously enough, this Uruguay bank still held on to all its money. Imagine putting together a crack team of criminals and working for months with the goal of robbing a bank, only to be thwarted at the last possible minute. Well, that's exactly what happened. But a group of robbers rented a shop next to the Republican Bank of Uruguay in 2016, led by a man who goes only by the name of The Mole. They tunneled under a shop they paid 684 euros a month for. When they eventually came through the other side after the year-long operation, they ran into a problem. The vault they planned on stealing from was too high tech. These men fumbled with the safe for an extended period of time before giving up and running away. And in a comedic turn of events, the law enforcement agency in the country released a video of the robbers as well. Naturally, it went viral. Most all of these would-be robbers were caught, proving that heavily guarded banks are everywhere, no matter what country you're in. The JP Morgan Vault our next entry of heavily guarded bank vaults is certainly a mysterious one. JP Morgan Chase & Co. is the largest bank in the United States and the third largest bank in the world. It's been around since 1924, making it one of the oldest ones in the United States as well. With all this info, you'd think we'd have tons of information about their mega vault in New York City, but all we know for sure are a few things. First of all, they have one of the biggest vaults in the world. It's as large as a football field, which is over 57,000 thousand square feet. The only people allowed to visit it are from the exclusive JP Morgan inner circle. So, unless you're in the 1% of the 1%, you aren't getting in. It's also five stories below the streets of Manhattan. That's a lot of security. Although, what makes it so interesting is its proximity to the Federal Reserve Bank of New York from earlier on our list. Some conspiracy theories say that since the two vaults are so close together that they share security and, in some cases, gold. That would be a gigantic violation of currency laws. But because only a select few can even get down that far, there's no way of really knowing. Once again, the extremely elite of the US have the best security of anyone. Fort Knox. Our last bank on the list is the personal gold bank for the United States. That means it has the full force of the US military and technology on its side. And that is a force to be reckoned with. Fort Knox is a U.S. command post in Kentucky that's home of the Bullion Depository, which is in charge of protecting over 147 million ounces of gold. That's over $200 billion inside. So that means this is one of the most guarded places in the world, bank or otherwise. There's a total of four surrounding fences, and two are electric. There are armed sentinels all around the perimeter, too, in a solid granite wall. That wall is four feet thick and made up with 750 tons of steel. That's a lot. But if you somehow manage to get past all of that complicated security and through the maze of hallways to the vault, you'd be stopped right away. That's because the 22-ton vault blast door requires a team of people to unlock, and it needs to be 10 highly trained people who all only know a small portion of the code to do so. If you somehow pulled off the bank heist of a lifetime, I have bad news for your escape plan. Fort Knox is full of around 30,000 troops. Doesn't really sound worth it, huh? Well, there they are, the most heavily guarded banks in the world. Thanks for watching with us at The Hub, and we hope that you didn't get any crazy ideas. Robbing banks is never a good plan. See you next time.